Alright, now I have connected my VSWR meter to my home Wi-Fi box. This is the wireless box that is transmitting 2.4 Wi-Fi. Now let me turn on the VSWR meter. Go on to the power on for 5 seconds. And let go. By default, the readings will be going in a loop. It will show VSWR pass through power and refracted power. So, while it's going in a loop, and if I see letter R, that's VSWR, P, that's pass through power, and this strange symbol, that's the refracted power. So, I'm waiting for R. Okay, so once I see R, I hit the button once and it's locked on to VSWR. And if I want to turn on the backlight, I hold on to the button for 2 seconds. There you go, now we have the lead up display. Okay, now let me measure the stock 2.4 Wi Fi antenna. This is the common one that you get in the computer more. Okay, the VSWR is showing and it says 2.1, 2.2 VSWR. Not very good for this frequency for Wi-Fi basically. Because ideally we should be getting VSWR of 1.5 for the better antennas. So this antenna is not really tuned for the frequency of my Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to test the probal leaf and see if it's suitable for the frequency of my Wi-Fi. Okay, it's much better. The VSWR for my homemade probal leaf is 1.68, 1.69. It fluctuates, but it's still lower than the other antenna, which is from the computer more. Okay, now we are getting PSWR of 1.18, PSWR of 1.2. So this helical is tuned for the Wi Fi, and the reason is because I have tuned it manually when I build this antenna. There's a wave trap here. It's the impedance matching strip. And I have tuned it by moving it up and down and adjusting the angle of the first quarter turn such that I get the lowest VSWR. Okay, now I have the Dimension 7, Wakara Dimension 7 turned on. And I have the VSWR meter attached to the controller the radio controller. Once I put this on, you will see the VSWR already. Okay, it has a VSWR of 1.48. Okay, which is not too bad. Now we're going to test the Hobby King 7 DBI patch antenna. Hobby King 7 DBI patch antenna. Okay, the DSWR is not very good. It's 2.1, 2.2. So obviously it's not 
tuned for this frequency. Whatever frequency that Wokera Devo 7 is transmitting, the antenna is not tuned for it. So I press the button once. Now the R, letter R becomes letter P. And we see plus 16.2, plus 16.2 P. And that refers to the pass through power. If I press again, now we see the reflected power. Let me toggle to the reflected power. Yep. This is uh, 16.8. This is the reflected power. So I'm assuming that this has WR meter. Measures the VSWR by using the pass through power and the reflected power readings to return the VSWR, which is the R we see here, letter R. So if I want to turn off the, the backlight to save power, I just hold on two seconds and the, the backlight is gone. And if I want to power off, just hold um, hold the button for five seconds and then I release and it's power off. It's a very useful unit for tuning your 2.4 home brew antennas or to check how good the antenna you just purchased is. Unfortunately, there isn't one available for 5.8 GHz, but it's still a very good price for a 2.4 GHz VSWR meter. This one costs 90 USD and it's a really handy gadget to have.